Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT. So we got two new time trials on Gran Turismo Sport for today. So we have the Aston Martin DBR9 GT1. We'll be having a hot lap around the Nürburgring. And the Ford Focus ST will be doing the same thing with a tuning permitted. We'll be at the Dragon Trail Gardens. Now let's go and get started and grab a GT1 race car to be ready to go because this will be having a balance of performance regulations to be all set automatically. This will be doing great out there for having a lot of extended practice. So this will might have the tire re regulations to be required to be using with the racing hard compound tires to be selected. So before enjoying watching the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some more videos if you like. Feel free to enjoy it any time you want for the entertainment. Now it's time to get ready to start the time trial and let's begin. For only a single GT1 race car will be taking on the Grand Prix circuit of the Nürburgring. So I hope this will be given the best time out there to keep in track of the number of days remaining. So let's go and get ready to go for having a nice clean hot lap around the track and let's get it on. Starting out to take that chicane before I proceed to the final corner to start the time. So this is going to be having some apex if we have to try to make a good proper inside position by having a good improved balance for the DBR9 GT1. So this is going to be having a good easy time out there so try to stay fast and deal with some corners if we have to try and make a good clean successful run. Timers have already been started out so here comes the first turn. This is going to be having a one sharp hairpin will be have the best ways to have a good blue glimpse to be well signalized to be checked. Very good proper position onto the first turn. Now coming on to the second corner between the third turn. This is going to be having some fine technique racing skills. We'll be doing more practice. Very good remarkable turn. And this will might take a good short straight by reaching up onto the next corner. Gonna have to pass by the double cones and make that good proper inside. Same thing as before, just gonna make a good hard right. And then this is gonna be having a nice perfect corner out there if we have to be ready. Keep it well maintain the pace. And this is gonna be having a good turn and looks like this will might going in for having a little hard part. Just going to make sure to have that apex to be needed for you. So this wheel might have to stay on a tarmac to avoid getting caught in the sand trap to be slowed down. Make a good left turn onto that corner and make a good quick right and coming right onto the straight before this is going to be having the chicane will be ready to go. Just going to have to keep going and have a fifth gear will be increase the speed. Gonna pass by the double cones and make that good proper position. There you go. That was a very good easy chicane corner turn. Gonna have to make that final turn. Okay, looks like this is gonna be having a one standard record set made by myself. Two minutes, 0 0.592 seconds. So let's see how I could probably have to beat my time because this is going to be under two minutes folks. This will might give a good exact time moment if you really want to take on for only a minute and 58 seconds. But this is going to have a very good gap distance to be set up after taking the first lap. Going to have to take the second part before I'm about to going in to have the third lap. go still on the 0.2 seconds behind just gonna need to keep a little bit more pace to increase the speed
still getting a little bit close in, but the bike could probably have to take only 0.3 seconds. Better watch out for the sand trap. That will might chew our tires up to be slowed down. There we go. Looks like still getting a little bit further through. If I only have a one good chance to have a one minute and 59 seconds. Going right in, use the apex for the chicane and going right on to the best parts. Very good to have that one second position. Just gonna have to go over to take that final corner. Just gonna have to sprint over to the finish line for having a next lap. So it looks like this is a very good one out there folks. A minute and 59.258 seconds. So I hope I could probably have to take the final lap. I could probably go for it. Taking a good, steady, fast balance for a GT1 race car. Very good choice to be in the Nürburgring for having a best time for this week. Just gonna have to keep going. Still got a lot more handling corners to be yet to go. Okay, looks like getting a little bit close in. Just gonna have to pass by by taking the next corner. Okay, looks like I can barely see a ghost coming by. Gonna have to take another chance. There we go. Looks like this is gonna be getting a little bit close in. Gonna have to use that corner. Take that apex and better make a good, proper, perfect position. Looks like my previous lap car has barely passed me. So looks like this is gonna have to take for the only fourth lap we'll be going in. Going in to take the last turn. Make that good inside towards the apex. All right, folks, this will be having a new lap time but this is going to be way better to be having a good limit so we'll be pushed up onto the pace. There we go, looks like this is gonna be a very good gap distance to be at 0.3 seconds behind. Just gonna have to keep going because every race for having a time trial will do some more practice. Gonna make that next turn. Just go right in onto the apex. And there it goes. If I could probably see a 0.5 seconds behind, that would be a very good lucky chance. Okay, looks like this one's gonna be a little bit close in on me. Looks like he barely passed me. Okay, looks like this should be good enough, folks. I guess this will be having a best time out there for having a new record. A minute and 59.258 seconds. This may be having a good result out there, folks. On lap number two, Sector 2, 3, and 4 have barely made a good green mark to be checked in. 26.858 seconds, 24.256 seconds, and 30.726 seconds. That would might lead up for having a best lap time average out there for only a minute and 59 seconds. Better have to be placed up in the decimal by 258. This is going to be a very good 
regular fast run out there for the DBR9 GT1 will be taking on the Nürburgring Grand Prix. So good thing I just putting up onto the rank on 28.90 seconds because this is definitely might be doing great to be trying to do the best out there. Suitable practice takes a lot of clean hot lap around the track. We'll be taking some fine skills. We'll push it to the limit. All right, folks. I hope you really enjoyed watching the time trial. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, bell for notification uploads, and the links on the description down below if you want to see more. Liberty Block videos are available to watch anytime you want. This will be the entertainment showcase about different cars with liberties I have been made. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for a continue in the time trial and Gran Turismo Sport, and I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing, stay clean.